Now, first, first, I want you to understand the word quadratic inequality. Can you highlight the word quadratic and write down? Quadratic means you have a x squared plus b x plus c more than zero. I have a x squared plus b x plus c less than zero. This is what quadratic means. Everyone okay with the idea? Okay, nah. Number two, mistake. I want to start the chapter by telling you what's the mistake. Can I continue? And you see, ah, you just think, ah. Start. The mistake is this. Can you write down? X plus two, x minus three more than zero. And what's the mistake, ah? Mistake is this. Can I write in red? Since it's a mistake. The mistake is you tell me x plus two more than zero, x minus three more than zero. Can I give you another example? Say for example, I have x plus two, x minus three less than zero. What's the mistake? The mistake is you tell me x plus two less than zero, or x minus three less than zero. Uh, mistake means this is wrong. This is wrong. Before I continue, how many of you got this idea? That means that uh, if I tell you ah uh, less than zero ah, uh, then you think this must the first one must be less than zero or the second one must be less than zero, right? Or if I tell you this one is more than zero ah, uh, your idea is the first one must be more than zero or the second one must be more than zero, right? Now where do you have this idea? You have this idea because of the equal sign. So equal sign is causing you a lot of problems. Can I talk about the equal sign? Can I talk to you about the equal sign? Can you write down x plus two, x minus three equal to zero? Can you write down x plus two, two two never write properly. X plus two, x minus three is equal to zero. What happens? Very natural, ah. Uh, you write down x plus two equals zero. Or x minus three equals zero. Is this correct? Yes. Why is the reason this is correct yet these two are wrong? Can I start with the correct one? Can I start with the correct one? And ah, uh, now correct one, the equal sign. Ah, uh, this is correct. Ah, uh. now if I say a times b equals zero, okay, I zoom into the correct one. Ah, uh. as I write, you write also. So when I move the screen away, ah, uh, you don't suffer that much. I repeat, as I write, you write also. So when I move the screen, you don't suffer much. And I want to zoom in because it's easier for you to see. Start. A times B equals zero. Does it make sense if A equals zero or B equals zero? I try, ah. Uh. If this is hundred, what must be this? Must be zero. That's why I say B must be zero. Another one. If this is two hundred. What happened to a? Must be zero. So the equal to zero one, ah, it makes sense when I say a equal to zero. It makes sense for me to say, ah, conclude. A must be equal to zero, or b must be equal to zero. Everyone clear? Can I move on to the inequality and and, and prove to you why it's not true? Can I go to that? Everyone write this down already. Yes, ah. Huh? Sorry, I have to be so naggy because I really don't want to repeat again. Right now, let's apply the same theory here. What happens when I say a times b is more than zero? What happens when I say a times b is more than zero? Must both be more than zero? Who can show me an example with negative number? Try. Example, ah, uh, Ting Fong. 
Negative 3 times what will give you a positive number? Very good. Can you write this down? Do you see that when both are negative, it also gives you a positive number? So do you know why the red one is wrong? Do you know why the red one is wrong? Absorb. Digest. Who don't understand, ask now. Help your friend. Yes. Don't get it. Ah. Okay. You see, ah, the red one say, ah, the first one must be more than zero. That means what? Must be... 2, uh, 3, uh, 4 uh, must be positive number. This one also say the second one must be more than 0. Must be 10, uh, 11, uh, 12 must be more than 0. But is it true that you must have two positive numbers multiplied together to get positive? No. Because if this is negative, oh, that means uh, what? Negative 3 times negative 10 also positive. Eh? What does it mean? This first one can it be less than 0? Yes. This one must be also less than zero. So when this is less than zero, this is less than zero, the result is also more than zero. Who need to ask questions? This is not easy, yeah, because I see this every time in exam. Every time, every year without fail. Will one of you do it? Maybe. I hope not. So everyone clear? Can I? So can I? Can I tell you what's the correct way? I still got time, right? Three. Then how? Write down. First, I don't teach you the method. I teach you the idea. Can you write down the idea? Very important, once you understand the idea, everything will come naturally. Can you draw two graphs? Ah, one graph, one graph, one graph. Uh, this is one, two, three. This is minus one, minus two, minus three. Very quiet, eh? Quiet because you are very attentive, right? Gerald, where is positive? Ah? Top or bottom? Top. So everything here is a big plus. Positive. Everything here above the x-axis ah, is a plus. What about everything below x-axis? It's a negative. I purposely use the y-axis to illustrate. Because Nigel... Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, uh, everything below uh, naturally is like negative. Everything above the uh, y-axis are uh, like 1, uh, 2, uh, 3 uh, is a positive. Okay? So let's talk about the graph. Can you draw a quadratic graph? Can you draw a quadratic graph? Let's start. U, U. Do you know this graph is broken up into three parts? Where are the three parts? The positive part. The negative part. And the positive part. Can you see? I repeat. Uh, this graph is broken into three parts. The positive part. The negative part. And the positive part. Okay? Now, can you write out... Can you write out the equation... Let's use the same example on top. X plus 2. X minus 3 is more than 0. Can you highlight this? And repeat after me. More than 0. Repeat means you must tell yourself more than 0. Do you choose the green or pink? Green. green. You choose the green. Now, x plus 2, x minus 3 means, do I know the x in the set? Yes. How do I find the x in the set? 
Ah, this two and the third. Do you know the number from this? What? This, this. Two wrong. Negative two and positive three. Can you indicate on your graph? Can you indicate on your graph? This is negative two. This is three. Ah, no, no, this one I think is wrong one. I refer to this generic graph. This is generic, this is generic. But, uh, yeah, this one should shift there, right? Uh, should shift there. But I want to show you, I'm only interested in the x axis and the graph. Whatever is above the x uh, is positive. Whatever is below the x is negative. Okay, so far? Now, let's conclude. What do you think is the answer? If I want more than zero, that means what? Yellow, uh, yellow. I use yellow color, uh. Do you agree is I want everything here? Question. Is X more or less than negative 2? To answer, think, write down. I, I, I write for you. Uh, I want you to put in the box. Three, I also want like that. Do you know why is it like that? Because uh, this graph is going this way. So I want everything that is towards this side. How do you find this number? Uh? Because this is three. Ma. Where is four? Here. Where is five? Here. Do you, do you follow? Okay. Maybe let me let me let me explain on the graph again, huh? Now, uh, do you follow that I actually want this part of the graph? This is this is my line. Am I correct? This is my line. This is my line. Then I ask you, uh, what value of x so that it will fall under this line? If I trace it down, do you agree? This value should be what negative one. This value should be. Zero. This value should be negative one. Eh? Eh? Negative? Sorry, sorry. Not zero. Not zero. I confuse you. Should be negative three. This one should be negative. Four. Eh? I, I blur. I blur. I blur. This one should be negative three, negative four, negative five. That means that means for for this side, ah, uh, this side because it is going up, going up here, ma. This this x value uh, is all negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight. Huh? Huh? Uh, because this this side of the graph is negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight. So what do I put in this box? Smaller. X must be smaller than negative two. Is that okay? Now, Tiffany, this is three, this is four, this is five. Follow my follow my pen and finger. Huh? I want this side. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight. So X must be what three? Bigger than three. I summarize. Can this ever be overlapping? Meaning, is there a number at the same time smaller than negative two? At the same time bigger than three? Is there such a number? Negative 2 is an intercept. Uh, intercept very easy. Uh, I let this be 0. Uh. I, I, I care that more than 0. I let this be 0. I will know the intercept. Don't get it, ah. Uh. Don't get it. Huh? Can I give you an example? Can I give you an example? Example. Example. Can everyone write this down? Ready? Get set. Tell me the answer. 
I pause the video here. It's <coughs> Matthew, Matthew, can you write this down? To find x intercept, I need to let let x minus four x minus ten equal to zero. Can you write that down? Matthew, based on your S I L T, this is under I intercept. You need to let the equation equal to zero. Straight away x equals to four or x equals to ten. Four and ten. Tiffany asked a very crucial question. How do you know what inequality to put uh, if you don't draw the graph? Answer is you cannot. So you must draw the graph. In exam, the graph got no mark. But the inequality got mark. You don't draw the graph, you are not able to see which area to choose. So equal? Because I want to find x intercept. How to find x intercept when more than zero? No way what? The only way is to let it be equal to zero. I repeat, there's no there's no way to find x intercept if it's more than zero. No way. No way. No way to find how to find this x intercept. Have you learned this before? No what? Intercept is y equals to this. Do you agree? Intercept must be y equals to x minus four x minus ten. Ah, like that then you can find. This is the only way to find x intercept. Understand? Who mean by? This is the SILT. Do you understand? What are we solving now? I'm asking you find the range of value of x. No, no, no. This is not the answer. Okay, one by one, ah, huh? by one by one. This is not. The answer. Rachel, 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 you asked a very good question. The question is find the range value of x. Rachel, the question is find the range of value of x. What well, I scared? I scared you tell me x is more than 4, x is more than 10. You understand? Is it correct? No, ah. Back to the question. I already labeled the two intercepts. So, in order to be more than zero, what is the answer? So, usually I will highlight this region. I will highlight this region. And then I write down x lesser than 4 or x more than 10. Hashtag. Everyone clear? Not opposite because more than zero means I want on top. Do you follow on top? If this is four, why is this? Three, why is this? Two, why is this? One. I want four, three, two, one. X smaller than four. I want four, three, two, one. X smaller than Ah, this answer. Why is it more than ten? This is ten. Why is this? Eleven, twelve, thirteen. I want X more than ten. Does it help if I give you the number? Bye. Follow me again. If this is 4, what is this? 3, what is this? 2, what is this? X is smaller than 4. Oh, so angry. X is smaller than 4. Agree? Bye. This is 10, what is this? What is this? What is this? X is more than 10. Do we go inside? Yes. This is the second part of the question. Less than. Are you ready? Can we go to the second part? Can, huh? Can you write down the example? Uh, the second part of the journey is very fast. Please, please follow me. I know it's something. You are, you are, you are digesting a five period lesson in one period. Can you follow me through? Okay. Yes. Hang on. Follow me, ah. Uh. Now, can everyone write down 
draw the graph. Who need me to explain this? That's why I say the second part is a brief. Because the second part, I don't have to explain the graph anymore. Can you use a highlighter? I think I got to use pink. Any other color will give me black. See? Never mind. Okay, I use this. Now, can you write this down? Can you read out and write it out? This is less than zero. Less than zero means I want everything that is below the x-axis. Okay, Vaish, help me. Uh. Vaish, Vaish, help me. Uh. Help me, help me. This is four. Uh. What is this? What is this? So, the answer must be between four to ten. Therefore, the answer must be between 4 to 10. That's an answer. Yes, this is what you write on the actual paper. Less than. Huh? Which one is X? Huh? Good question. Singway asks, which one is X? X is the X axis. X is the x-axis. So I'm asking you, uh, if lesser than zero, uh, it means I want between 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lesser than zero. Uh. Lesser than zero doesn't mean negative. Lesser than zero means that if ever, Xinhui, good question. Uh, if ever I draw a y-axis, this is all plus. This is all minus. Like sinking below the graph. Thinking below the x axis. So this part here, only 4 to 10. Now, can you go back to the A max? Okay, so this is end of the topic. Happy? This is end of the quadratic inequality. But you need to know because you need to solve the question. Can I summarize by bringing you back to the A max question? Can everyone look at this question now? Everyone look at this. Everyone look at this. Last one to look is vector. Looking at this, first thing is to draw the graph. Can you draw the graph now? U or N? U. Why is it u? k times k is k squared. So this is the value of k. I am not interested in x. This is the value of k. Who confused? Huh? Why oh, I get k? Uh. Uh, I want to find the intercept, but here got x or not? Bowl it. Good hair. I want to find k, ma. What is the k intercept? Zahira, what is the k intercept? 16 die. Huh? 16 k also die. To find the x intercept. To find the K <laughs> To find the J intercept <laughs> Hey y'all too serious I'm too serious Maybe because I, I seem like crazy like shouting at that y'all look very serious Okay can I can I lighten the mood a bit now to find the k in the set, can you write down Zahira? To find the k in the set. 
Hey, this K is nothing but just an alphabet. If this is X, it's an X-intercept. If this is gay, it is a gay intercept. Okay? Now, to find a gay intercept, what you need to do is you need to let the this and this be what? Zero. So, 16K equals zero. What is K? So, one now. Uh, what negative 16? Zero, huh? This is zero. What about k plus four equals to zero? Can you indicate the two intercepts? Is it like that? Is it like that? Wrong, huh? Wrong, huh? Yeah, please, uh, please. Tolong, uh, tolong. This one wrong also, GG. <laughs> I don't know to play already. Next. 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 Next.